Hi guys, welcome back to Math with James. So, so today we're going to talk about how to use the chain rule. So basically we apply the chain rule when we need to find the derivative of a composite function. What is a composite function? It is a function with another function inside it. For example, f of another function gx. So if we want to find the derivative of f of gx, then the formula gives us this. We need to get the derivative of f of gx, then times the derivative of gx. So that's basically the idea. I'm going to use some examples to show how it works. We have learned the formula for the derivative of sine x, which is equal to cosine x. What if you change the variable x to be a function? Let's say you want to find the derivative of sine x squared, then it should be the derivative of f of gx, which is cosine x squared times the derivative of gx. gx here can be considered as gx is equal to x squared. So the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, and you can put the coefficient in the front. So we can also apply this formula to a power function, which if you want to find the derivative of 2x plus 5 raised to the power of 3. And then according to the formula, you have to find the derivative of fgx, which is 3 times 2x plus 5 raised to the power of 2 and minus 1, right? So plus 2 and times the derivative of gx. gx in this case is 2x plus 5. The derivative of it actually is 2. And then this whole thing is equal to 6 times 2x plus 5 raised to 3. Sorry, raised to 2. Let's try to have a composite function with another layer inside another layer. What if you want to find the derivative of sine of sine of a sine x inside it. All right, so we have another layer, but actually it doesn't matter. We're going to apply the rule one by one. Let's consider hx equals sine x and gx equals sine hx. And the original function can be considered as sine gx. So by using the formula, the derivative is equal to cosine sine sine x times the derivative of gx, which is equal to cosine sine sine x times the derivative of, let's just plug in what gx is over here. So gx is equal to sine hx, which is sine sine x, basically. And then we have to unpack this part by using the formula again. So which is equal to cosine sine sine x times the derivative of this whole thing as another gx, another layer, so which is cosine sine x times the derivative of sine x. And then the final answer is cosine sine x times the derivative of sine x, which is cosine x. I'll see you next time. Take care.